So today we're looking at the lower unit cutaway of a Evinrude outboard. We'll go ahead and start from the top on down. So looking at the very top here, we've got our drive shaft with the splines that would go right into our uh, crankshaft on our power head. So as soon as you turn the key and the engine starts running, the drive shaft starts turning. As the drive shaft's turning, you can assume all drive shafts turn, uh, turn clockwise as looking down from the top of the motor. You can see our impeller would immediately start turning in there inside of our water pump and start pumping water to cool our motor down. And then as we move further down here, we can see that our pinion is turning uh, with our drive shaft and the pinion turns these two ring gears. So the pinion, the impeller, the drive shaft, and the ring gears are always turning when the motor is running. Now you can notice that this dog or this dog clutch here is not turning and that's directly connected to our prop shaft. So our prop shaft can turn freely and not spin even though the motor is running. So this is neutral right here and we would expect our shift rod uh, that connects to our control box to be in the neutral position about halfway down going for, or up a uh, quarter inch or so would be forward gear, down a quarter inch or so would be reverse and when you go into forward that upward motion would pull this dog forward to engage with the forward ring gear and when you push down into reverse it would push the dog backwards to engage with the reverse ring gear. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like when this dog goes into forward. So our dog is now in forward gear and as we rotate our drive shaft as our motor is running, you can see that the dog is engaged with the forward gear, forward ring gear at a one to one ratio. So our prop shaft is actually turning one to one with the dog and the forward ring gear. Now obviously there's a gear reduction here because our pinion that's connected to our motor is so much smaller than these ring gears. The prop's only turning at maybe a two or uh, maybe a uh, since our pinion is so much smaller than our ring gears here, the propeller is only turning once for maybe every two or three revolutions of the engine. So it's a gear reduction there. But you can see that this is engaged one-to-one -one with the forward ring gear. So that would be your forward gear. If we wanted to make the propeller stop turning, we would go back into neutral and just push that dog out of forward gear there. And so now you can see the engine can run and the prop shaft doesn't have to turn at all. And then if we wanted to go in reverse, we would put our control box into reverse, or we would just push down on our shift rod and slide this dog into the reverse ring gear. And now our dog clutch is in our reverse ring gear. So you can see as our drive shaft's rotating and our engine's running, it's turning our reverse ring gear and the dog's connected to the prop shaft via these little splines. And it's turning the prop shaft the opposite direction in about that same. And on this side of the seal, we have all of our gear oil. So seals are really important here. If this seal were to fail or the seals on the center of your prop shaft were to fail, you would have gear oil leaking out of this area into the water and water leaking into your, uh, to your gear case oil. And water is a very poor lubricant. It would tear up these gears very quickly. So you wanna keep good gear oil in here and you wanna keep it topped off. When we replace the lower unit oil, we always uh, unscrew this plug unscrew this one up here, the oil drains out, and then we connect a little hose or uh, put our balls below there, squeeze the oil back up from the bottom on up, and when it comes out the top hole here, we replace the drain plug. So this is the level that the oil normally sits at. This entire area here is uh, just a nice bath of gear oil, and that's very important. Keep all this running nice and smoothly and keep your dog sliding back and forth nice and smoothly. You can see this one, that oil doesn't slide quite as nicely as uh, you know, as a new lower unit might. So that's really all there is to this lower unit. It's pretty simple. It's just a matter of this dog clutch sliding into the forward ring gear or sliding into the reverse ring gear to make contact. When you hear that clicking noise, what you're hearing is the edges of these dog teeth. You can see how they're kind of worn there. When you hear your motor clicking, what you actually hear is these little parts here starting to engage with your ring gear. So these little parts on the uh, dog to the gear there starting to engage with the ring gear and it's actually bouncing in and out of gear it's not uh engaging right away and the reason for that is you're slowly shifting it you really have to be kind of quick about it to quickly engage that flat uh edge there this flat edge with the flat edge on the inside of this ring gear here 
beginning to engage with the forward ring gear or the reverse ring gear, and it's really grinding away at these teeth. You can see that rounding there. And as it becomes more and more rounded over time, it'll just stop engaging, it just bounces right back out because there's a lot of force, a lot of power coming through this drive shaft trying to engage right away with, uh, with your propeller. So it's, it's really hard um, on these lower units, shifting them you know, under any sort of power. You always wanna be at a, a low speed in the boat and uh, low motor speed, you know, maybe idle RPM or right near there before shifting. So you don't have to stress these too much, but that's where that clicking noise comes from. Definitely something to be aware of because that's usually the, the first thing that'll fail on these outboards is the teeth on the ring gear on the inside there where it interfaces with the dog clutch and the teeth on this actual dog clutch there will fail. So that's really all there is to them. They're real simple machines. Um, if you just keep them filled with oil and don't beat up on them too much, they'll last you a real long time. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.